here we see here we see the tube attached to the meter stick. Uh, a little bit of fast motion there. Let's move a little slower across the meter stick. Uh, we can pretty much tell how long the tube is there just by scanning across and looking at the centimeter marks. We can pretty much tell how long the air column is. It looks like it runs from the about the 5 centimeter mark past the 10, the 20, the 30, uh, there's the 40, looks like to about the 44 centimeter mark. Okay, now that tube, if we follow it back up to the bottle, see it goes up here and across and down into the bottle, and it extends just a little ways below the top of the bottle. You can also see the pressure release tube and the tube that goes down into the liquid. Now when I squeeze on the bottle, that's going to increase the pressure in the bottle. That will therefore increase the pressure in this tube, in the bottle end of the tube, and throughout the tube. So what's going to happen to this column as the pressure increases? The column is capped at the far end, and I didn't mention that before, but the cap column is capped, so the air column in here, inside of the tube, is uh, sealed. So we have a fixed amount of air between this end of the tube and the other end. Well, let's see what happens. Now we are on about the five centimeter mark here. If I squeeze it a little bit, I can easily squeeze it up to where it gets to the six centimeter mark. Okay? If I squeeze a little harder, I can get to the seven centimeter mark. Now when I do that, as you saw before, you know that water is rising in the tube. When I go to the six centimeter mark, water rises about well, let's get a meter stick and see. Um, and you can't see this measurement. We see that water rises about 20 centimeters when I squeeze to the one centimeter distance. If I squeeze to the two centimeter distance, water rises considerably higher, actually. Uh, it looks like take the meter stick and measure again. You can't see where I'm measuring to. About 44 centimeters. If I squeeze a little harder, I can get to the 3 centimeter mark. Now at the 3 centimeter mark, let's see where the water is. Okay. Uh, looks like the water is about sixty-eight centimeters deep. Okay, if I squeeze to the four centimeter distance, that will be the nine centimeter mark. Okay, let's see where the water went. Okay, the water's up there pretty good. It looks like uh, the water went up to a height of about ninety-two centimeters. Okay, now the total length of this tube here is from the five centimeter mark to the 40, actually the 43 and a half centimeter mark. Of course, we're focused in, you can't see that 43 and a half centimeter mark at the other end. But it's from about five centimeters to about 43 and a half centimeters, which is a total length of 38 and a half centimeters. Now we shortened it by one centimeter, then by two, then by three, then by four, and we observed how the water rose in the tube. We can watch the water rising in the tube. If we move back to a wider view, so just to show you what was going on out here, we'll do a one centimeter squeeze 
And you can't see it, but the water rises to about the height of the stop. And as we go to two centimeters from the five to the seven here, we see the water rising uh, about to here. And if we go to three centimeters, we see the water rising higher. And at four centimeters, it rises still higher. Now, uh, you probably see some extra water in the tube here. Um, that's due to the surface tension of the water, a capillary action. And that messes things up a little bit if you're not careful. That will eventually flow down and back into the container. Uh, but you can see the principle and you can see what I was measuring. I was simply measuring the height to which the water rose at each stage. 